Backyard brawls are often the best kind, and there's a mutual respect with someone you share a border with, which is the case tonight with Galax in Carroll County. The Maroon Tide's new coach actually graduated from Carroll and coached there. The two schools might be 15 miles apart, but they're part of the same community. 10 Sports' Eric Johnson has more from the matchup on the field tonight. Both the Maroon Tide and the Cavaliers have playmakers that can make big plays at any point during the game, but it all starts with blocking and protecting the ball, two aspects in which Galax dominated tonight. Pre-game homecoming festivities here in Hillsville included quarterback Brady Dalton. In fact, he started the game off with a huge burst down the sideline for the Cavaliers, setting them up in the red zone. But just a few plays later, we have a fumble. Galax recovers. They were turning it into points. Check out Santana Sawyer's from seven yards out, 6-0 Galax lead in the first quarter. More defense to offense later. Ian Ashworth, a beautiful interception in the end zone, ending Carroll's scoring dreams yet again. It led to this. Colby Barnes catch and run. Made a man miss. 13-0 Maroon Tide are rolling. Cavaliers trying to get rolling themselves, but look who it is. Barnes crashing the party, this time on defense with the interception. Setting up his quarterback, Cole Pickett, a 30 four-yard touchdown scamper. Look at him hook and book down the sideline. Galax defense relentless tonight. They lived in the backfield. Multiple turnovers, multiple sacks. Maroon Tide go on to a 40 to nothing victory over Carroll County. But they were moving around a little bit and trying to confuse our kids and, and, and our guys kind of settled in and did a good job. You know, they're, they're, you're, they're young and they're learning and, 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 you know, they come to practice every day and they're yes or no, sir. I mean, you can't ask for a better bunch of group of young kids. We knew it was going to be a tough game coming in here. And, I mean, we knew it was going to be a battle, it was going to be physical, but our young kids stepped up tonight and they played hard. I'm proud of our O-line. That's where all, all respect to them. The uh, job's definitely not done, though. Uh, we definitely want, want to go to where we were last year, the state championship, and hopefully end up better than this. This is just a little milestone to beat Carroll. Carroll County suffers its first loss of the season, falling to 4-1, and one, while Galax remains unbeaten and will look to gain confidence as they move forward to an Auburn team next week. In Hillsville, Eric Johnson, 10 Sports.